Welcome to this edition of Pulse, presented by the PlayStation Network. It's been a busy spring with so many games to play that it's almost impossible to keep up. Well, we've got another to put at the top of your stack, as Zipper Interactive and SOCOM are back together on the PlayStation 3. This is NATO Operations Commander, what's your status? In a nation plunged into chaos by brutal revolution, a legendary NATO Operations Commander battles to save the country in SOCOM 4 U.S. Navy SEAL. Using squad tactics in the 32-person multiplayer battle, and five-player co-op modes, along with the new PlayStation Move Sharpshooter, players command the battlefield to outmaneuver enemies in the stunning new PlayStation 3 exclusive. Oh, it's you. It's been a long time. GLaDOS returns in the hilariously mind-bending adventure of Portal 2. Don't disappoint me or I'll make you wish you could die. And for the first time, Valve's Steam technology connects PS3 and PC gamers, allowing them to play together across platforms. So join the multiplayer action and meet the expanded cast of characters as you think your way through the dangerous unknown areas of Aperture Laboratories. And next, it's a PS3 exclusive. You will not see the end of this day as Kratos joins the playable characters in the new Mortal Kombat. Attack enemies with his legendary blades and new bone-crunching moves, enhanced for 3D TVs exclusively on the PlayStation 3, and battle your way to ultimate final victory. Kratos wins. Face hordes of creatures in the immense world of dungeons, villages, and forests in the action role-playing game Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Traveling alone or in teams of up to four heroes, players journey through the dark world of Gothicus to push back evil and collect innumerable items in this gothic universe. Set in the classic world of Ashan, five chosen heroes are on an amazing adventure in the puzzle, strategy, and fantasy role-playing game Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Each hero must forge their own dangerous path to grow strength and unravel a demonic plot ultimately saving the world from chaos. Ooh, that'll leave a mark. Might and Magic Clash of Heroes comes to us from Capybara Games, developers of the very popular Critter Crunch. In PSP news, the saga continues for the Patapons as they march forward into an all-new adventure. The rhythm-based adventure game returns with new quests, increased customization, and an all-new online battle with up to eight people. Arm your Patapons with different weapons and abilities, and keep the beat in the greatest portable adventure of Rhythm and War. And right here, we've got an exclusive Patapon 3 voucher code that will entitle you to a special item for Patapon, giving you an added advantage in combat. The code is active for a limited number of downloads, so get it while it's still available. As for the most popular PSP titles you've been playing lately, let's take a look at the top 10. Aya from the recent release, The Third Birthday, is already climbing the charts. While Lightning and the crew in the prequel to Dissidia Final Fantasy fly over those pesky little angry birds to claim the top spot so far this spring. In PlayStation Plus news, subscribers have just one more week to download the free games Comet Crash, a space shooter for two bucks, and Vector TD. Grab them before April 26th. And over on the video side of the PlayStation Store, we begin with this year's Best Picture Academy Award winner, The King's Speech. War with Germany will come, and we will need a king whom we can all stand behind. With his country on the brink of World War II and desperate for a leader, Colin Firth plays the newly crowned King George VI of England. Why are you here then? Because I bloody well stammer! But do you know any jokes? Timing isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Suffering from a speech impediment, the king must overcome his stammer and prove his worth by delivering a speech that inspires and unites his people into battle. Forget everything else and just say it to me. Uh, 
Our world has faced no greater threat than it does today. After the Dark Lord seizes control of the Ministry of Magic, the long-feared war has begun in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1. We need to get off the streets, get somewhere safe. Let's say we get undercover before someone murders them. That way they won't know which Harry Potter is the real one. As the Chosen One has become the hunted, Harry, Ron, and Hermione are on the run, trying to track down and destroy the Horcruxes before the Death Eaters find them. Help me! Look for part two of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows in theaters this July. Thanks again for joining us for this edition of Pulse, presented by the PlayStation Network. I'm Christina Lee, and we'll see you right back here on May 3rd. This has been a presentation of the PlayStation Network.